Christmas Eve is slowly fading. Can you hear him in the night? Close the door, turn out the light. <laughs> Fugus101 here, and I'm making my first Christmas-related video. And in this video, I'm going to be doing my review on the 1974 movie Silent Night, Deadly Night. Um, I saw this movie for the first time like one and a half years ago, and I thought it was it it, it wasn't really like good but it wasn't terrible it was entertaining but it wasn't like a movie that actually it's a movie I can watch over and over again because it's not like it's it's never boring and it it's just I guess it's just fun to watch I mean it's a guy dressed up as Santa Claus killing people <laughs> but basically um, the main like overview of the movie is or before I start talking about that, when this movie was first uh, released, the uh, it got so much crap. I mean, it was like uh, the trailers and stuff. Um, if if like families were eating dinner or just in the living room watching TV or whatever, and and the trailer came up, it would like freak little kids out, and their parents complained so much that like it's such a terrible movie to have Santa Claus killing people but anyway um basically uh what happens is this kid Billy Chapman <clears throat> Billy Chapman is uh 6 years old and he's with his parents and his brother and they're going to uh they're going to go visit their grandpa and uh, he's like really messed up. He's in the hospital, and basically they leave Billy alone with the grandpa because they have to go talk to one of the doctors. And the grandpa starts telling Billy all this like, like scary stuff about Santa, about how if you're naughty he'll come and he'll kill you. So Billy is like freaked out now, and as they're driving home, they see Santa Claus, Santa Claus standing in the road and they pull up next to him and I guess he's looking for a ride and then out of nowhere he pulls out a knife and a gun and he's, he's about to take their car so the dad like guns it and then he shoots the dad through the um, windshield and kills him and then he uh he gets the mom and he kills her and Billy and his brother are hiding in the bushes or no his brother's a baby and he's in the car, in the car seat, like, crying his head off, and Billy's just in the bushes, and, uh, so now he, he thinks it's the real Santa Claus, and he is, like, totally convinced that Santa kills you if you're bad. So, Billy ends up going to an, to an orphanage, and it's, like, a Catholic orphanage, so they have, like, nuns and stuff, and the one nun named Mother Superior thinks everything is naughty like if you leave your bed in the night to go to the bathroom she's like no that's naughty so Billy is thinks for sure Santa's gonna come and kill him because everything he does she tells him it's naughty and she ends up beating him with a belt and as the movie goes on Billy is forced to put on a Santa suit because he's it, He's 18 later on in the movie. He He's forced to put on the Santa suit because he works in a toy store. And they want him to be Santa for the little kids when they come in. And then there's this one girl that he likes at the toy store. And one of the guys, one of the other employees, they're both in the back. And he's trying to make a move on her. And Billy doesn't like it. So he grabs Christmas lights and hangs him with the Christmas lights and kills him right in front of her. And then... He kills her with a box cutter and just guts her. But, yeah, that, that's basically what happens in the movie. This kid is growing up knowing that Santa, or thinking that Santa is going to kill him. And he is just completely scared of Santa Claus growing up. He hates Santa Claus. There's one scene. It is the funniest scene in the whole movie. 
He's in the orphanage, and Mother Superior is dragging him to go sit on Santa's lap because they got Santa to come in, and she's telling him, you know, you're going to sit on Santa's lap, you're going to tell him what you want for Christmas, and you're going to enjoy it. Don't be naughty. And then Billy just, like, breaks free and just socks him right in the face and drops him. And I was laughing so hard because there's no way a, a six-year-old kid could drop a grown man like that out of a chair. But it was so funny. And, yeah, so then the rest of the movie is him just going around the town killing people. And it's it's a fun movie. It's not, like, really good. It's just one of those horror movies that's, like, it's just fun. Um... So yeah, of course, this is my Billy Chapman custom minifigure that I made a while ago. And it's actually really accurate to the movie. Like the gloves were this dark, uh, dark red color and he had bells on the sleeves. His big belt buckle and he has a blood stain on his head. He's got this beard I made of hot glue and it looks terrible in the back, but I think the hat looks pretty awesome. So yeah, this is Billy Chapman as a Lego. Um, so yeah, guys, it's this is basically all I want to say. Uh, the the movie, yeah, it's pretty pretty. I'm trying not to say pretty good because there are a lot of things that are just dumb about it. So I'm just it's it's just a fun movie. I recommend it if you haven't seen it, just because it's such a ridiculous concept of a movie. But uh, it, it's it's just fun. So, yeah, Silent Night, Deadly Night. I'm going to have to give this movie, out of 10, I'm going to give it a 6. Because I did enjoy it. Um, overall, I thought it was decent. And, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. My first... Uh, my first Christmas related video. So yeah, Silent Night, Deadly Night. Go watch it. It's on YouTube, actually. So just look up Silent Night, Deadly Night, part one, and just watch it because it, just watch it. <laughs> so anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. This is Fugus 101, signing out. Oh.